My name is Shain Ansari and I live in New Delhi, India. The first question took me back to 1990 when my younger sister passed primary school and had no option but to wait for her wedding dates as girls were not allowed to go out of village for education. As a young boy, I wanted to change this mindset. I worked at two levels, at family level and at the community level. At family level, I decided to work on knowledge, attitude and practice on my parents. I asked them to provide bicycle to my sister. Believe me, it was very difficult. I had to provide evidences from religious books and consulted religious leaders in favor of girl child education. Upgradation of primary school to upper primary school was another task we took right in the beginning. The core objective of our society is to increase female autonomy. And one of the important tools we applied is education and those step to break vicious cycle of poverty by empowering girls through creating access to education in the village. Behavioral change of the society was one of the top priority which you took. Right in the childhood, I identified problems in the society. I took place to channelize resources to increase female autonomy of the society. Our society is unique because over a period of time, we created a mass base to break age-old tradition to keep girls back to the home. Our education school was upgraded in 2004, which provided eight years of schooling to all the children, including girls. When I reached JNU, I could see similar problems close to the slum of our institution. I introduced education and doorstep step and launched two hours a week program where every volunteer had to give at least two hours in a week for drop out children. This program was later registered as ARC Foundation with the aim to create access to education within the walking distance of a child. Children's voice were close to our heart and we launched a wall magazine called Bal Chopa with the aim to promote reading, writing and artistic expression by the children for the children. This magazine was later came in a printed form and launched as an online edition in 2012. Thank you.